strategy advisor with Microsoft and I'm here at uh, the General Mills Betty Crocker Kitchens. I'm joined today by Leo Timmons and Leo please introduce yourself. Hi I'm Leo Timmons the director of consumer internet applications for General Mills and I'm here to show you the Betty Crocker Kitchen Assistant application for Windows 7. All right Leo um, behind us here we have a uh, Windows 7 PC with a touch interface and it's running a new application. Can you introduce this new solution? So this is the Betty Crocker Kitchen Assistant this is a new application that will be available free with Windows 7 that is what I would consider the high-def version of BettyCrocker.com. It gives you full access to all of the high-res images and recipes available on BettyCrocker.com so you can use it right here in your kitchen. What are the major uh, use scenarios that you guys envision? Yeah. We were thinking of this as, think of it as like the sort of the two foot, four foot, and six foot experience. So your two foot experience is just like the website where you're right up close against the screen, you're searching for something, trying to decide what's for dinner. But it also has a four foot, six foot sort of um, usage where you actually have the screen in the kitchen. You can use it as a touch screen or voice activated to be your assistant while you're actually prepping the meal. Betty Crocker today is a very popular website, well known. There's a wealth of data there and increasingly amount of knowledge that is um, continually invested into the Betty Crocker uh, brand of recipes. Um, how does that change the relationship now having this application yeah. in the kitchen? Well this will be connected directly to that database so it has access to all of the recipes that are there now as well as since it's connected through the internet it will have access to any new recipes in the future. So we think of it as almost just another usage occasion for the same kind of information, same wealth of content that we have online. Where did the genesis of this idea come from and how long have you, have you been in development bringing this to market? Well, the original idea started about a year ago when we had part of our uh, partnership engagement with Microsoft. We always talk about strategic projects, what we can do for the next year, and we started brainstorming on what could we do that would be new and interesting with uh, Windows 7. So we kicked around a number of different ideas and finally settled on this kitchen assistant, and we started development about four months ago, uh, both on our side where we were working on the Open Recipe API, which is the connector piece that connects this to the website, and then Razorfish is our partner on the UI and creative aspects, and they worked on the front end of it. You mentioned uh, kind of the AI or API yeah. that's in the background that um, feeds this. Talk a little bit about the architecture. So we use a web services architecture to provide XML uh, versions of the recipes as well as a high-res image that can actually be resized for any size. We can have a small and larger one that resizes on demand. And, uh, the, the thinking behind that is we want to unlock the wealth of recipes that we had stored in Betty Crocker. We want to make them available for multiple usages other than just the pure browser experiences. So um, using web services and XML, people can get at it from a variety of applications. Now this application is going to be available um, for download from mm -hmm. BettyCrocker.com. Talk about the architecture that you're choosing to handle the scale of kind of a mass consumer adoption of an app like this. For the initial download, we'll be hosting this on the Azure cloud platform with Microsoft. So you'll go to BettyCrocker.com, but it'll be just a link over to the Azure platform. So they'll do the initial download. And then you'll get a starter set of recipes. And then additional recipes will populate as you do searches. And as you look to the, like, the next page, it'll keep downloading a few recipes at a time to stay ahead of you, as opposed to trying to download all 5,000 recipes at once. Now I see today we're looking at this and it's on a, a rich multi-touch um, PC running Windows 7 and Windows 7 seems to be you know, one of the targeted mm -hmm. platforms. What, what versions are you supporting? We support uh, XP and Vista uh, versions as well. They'll have all of the full features except for the touch screen and voice commands. Okay. When we first looked at the um, screen when we came in today, uh, we actually saw that there was a Windows sidebar gadget. So what's the relationship between that gadget and, the, and kind of the full app we're looking at today? Well, the sidebar gadget gives you a way to kind of keep it kind of running continuously, always having it there in the background, and as a reminder to bring yourself back in when you're, you know, you'll be in the main version when you're actually doing some cooking, but you might have the sidebar gadget running when you're doing something else, just if you want to see new recipes or have um, uh, more information. Now that um, General Mills has had a chance to use uh, technologies like Windows 7, web services architectures, using Azure for some scale, um, what does an application like this mean to General Mills in terms of um, kind of blazing new trails, in mm -hmm. terms of kind of next generation solutions that could be delivered to customers? We think of it as a great opportunity to talk to our consumers through a new channel, as well as showing some innovation, to kind of taking one of the oldest properties that we have, Betty Crocker, into new media 
and into new technology. So um, I think Betty Crocker has reinvented herself many times over the years, you know, from print to radio to TV and now on, on internet and now into um, desktop applications. It's just another continuing uh, evolution. Now I know uh, this October, October 22nd, at the Microsoft launch, we're looking to announce the application. But when will the application be uh, available for a consumer to go take advantage of? We will have uh, downloads available on bettycrocker.com slash kitchen assistant starting on the 22nd. And we will have continuing upgrades available after that. And so the application will update itself because we're uh, um, always going to continue to add new features to it. Well, Leo, thank you for this quick overview of the uh, Betty Crocker Kitchen Assistant. We're pretty excited uh, that this is coming to market yet with this month. Yep, and thank you. Thank you.